Hey guys, and welcome back to another plan with me. So today I'm very, very excited because I am planning for the week of a couple of birthdays. And I'm going to be using this fantastic kit. This one is Doom, Doom, Doom and Waffles. And we'll talk more about the kit later during the video. But for first, I wanted to show you that I've already done the Hobonichi Cousin and the Hobonichi Weeks with this artwork. So I'm just going to quickly show you what it looks like. Um, just so that you can see how, how I lay it out. But I mean, you have plenty of stickers. So this is the Hobonichi Weeks. So you can do more, you can do less, you can do whatever. I still had leftovers um, and I filled this up pretty good. But I really love filling this out. Here, I'll show you one of my, um, this is Stickers and Doodles. Super, super cute. Um, so you can see I, I use it. I just, I'm so far ahead in my planning that this is all the way into, oh, where's this at, September? Yeah, we're already into September here. So I'm like so far ahead with my stickers that I just lay them all down, put the stuff that I know where it's going to go, and then I just leave it and I just take this to work with me and I fill it in with my little pen. I always use my Villa Beautifuls in here because I get really good um, coverage and I can write tiny enough to where it'll fit inside of all these little spots. And that's it. So yeah, so this is how Doom, Doom, Doom and Waffles came out in my Hobonichi weeks. And then I've got the cousin done as well. This one's actually a little sooner. So this is the last week in August. Super cute. I also put a couple of the stickers in here. These ones are from the uh, washi and the washi and deco pages. So, and then this right here is also done with the washi and deco pages. And then I just cut it down the middle because I like using these. There's eight here. I like using these for like each day of the week for things like to-do lists. So I put to-do lists in between my um, days of the week. So anyway, that is how the Hobonichi Cousin came out. So these kits are available in the shop in both Hobonichi Weeks, Hobonichi Cousin, and then obviously we have the standard vertical. So we're going to lay down the standard vertical. And this week is my daughter's birthday and the shop's birthday. So we're doing a sale on the 19th and the 20th for the shop. Cocoa and Fluff is three years old. I can't even believe it's been three years since I started this. I'm going to start laying some stuff down. So um, let me just go through the kit really quick in case you haven't seen the unboxing yet. Not unboxing, but new releases video. So these are all the pages. My machine was acting a little crazy, so there's a couple of pages, like a couple of things that cut just a little bit high for me. Like, I don't like that, but it is what it is. It's still perfectly fine. It's just a little high for me. It's time to go buy new machines, which I hate buying new machines because then I have to calibrate them all and then add them all to the, I got to name them all. It's all a big pain in the neck to do it, and I, but it's time. They're all not behaving themselves. I've only got one that used to be my tried and true machine and now she's not behaving either. So it's time to get all new machines. I've calibrated them so many times it's not even worth trying anymore. So I'm going to do like I always do, lay down my washi and my date covers just so I know where I'm at. And then I'll tell you all about this. So let me just back this out a teeny bit because I feel like it's very close and I don't I don't want to cut anything off. I've been like, I have had bad habit lately of having it too close and then it cuts off half of the video. Like not the half of the video, half of the planner. I'm just stumbling over my words right now. So this artwork was drawn 100% by my beautiful daughter. And this was her birthday on the 14th, which we went, I'll tell you all about it later. It was quite, quite the adventure today. But um, this particular cartoon was her absolute favorite when she was growing up. This is obviously a 90s cartoon. She was a 90s kid. And um, we actually went to Comic-Con one year and the creator and voices for the characters were there. And she made me go, first and only time I've ever been to a panel at Comic-Con. If you've ever been to Comic-Con, you know why. <laughs> because it's an absolute nightmare to get into a panel. But she was determined that we were going to see them um, up in the panel talking. So we went to it and she had an absolute wonderful time. Then we found them later on on the floor and they were doing, um, you know, signing autographs and talking to people. And so we took her, stood in another 8 million mile long line for her to get that done. And she got a uh, autograph and it was really cute because we were there for her birthday at that time as well. Comic-Con's always in August, and her birthday's in August, so it was perfect timing. And um, he's saying happy birthday to her in uh, Gur's voice, and she started crying. <laughs> it was like the cutest thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. She was so excited, and so that was like a really, really fun birthday. 
So that, I mean, she just has always loved this, this uh, cartoon and loved all of this stuff. So this was so fun for her to be able to do this. She was really excited to do it. Um, anyway, so we are on the, well, I just knew what it was a second ago, but we're going to do the date dots. So we're on the 14th. See? Bella, my tried and true, that's her name, is not tried and true anymore. She's just barely cutting off center and she's making me mad. So I had to bust out one of the other machines that I don't use that often because it it's very sketchy as well, but it does a better job. And I cut a few um, like orders and stuff with that and that was fine, but I don't want to have to be stressing out about every single cut. So every single time I cut something, so it's time for them to go. It's a whole bank of machines that gotta go. And the best part is that none of the local shops here, like the Michaels or the Hobby Lobbies, carry them. So um, they're never in stock. So I'm gonna have to actually order them and wait for them to come in because they're never, they never have any available. Look at this artwork. It was the cutest stuff ever. She drew every little inch of this including all the backgrounds and I love 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 that she's so talented I wish I had like half the talent that this girl has I can draw my little leafies but that's pretty much the end of my talent pool definitely I did Dexter I did in the lab but it's nothing compared to this like she does such a good job on this stuff throw these down I hate this planner so I've decided that once this planner is done, we're done with Erin Condren unless she comes out with a blank planner where I don't have to cover everything up. At first I thought, oh, I'll just get the neutrals. It won't be that bad. No, it's that bad. It's just a pain in the neck trying to make sure that you cover everything up, especially when you have a kit like this where all the, well, it's so bright and vibrant. It's got all these pinks and the blues, and then you got all this like derpy color behind it. It looks terrible. Anyway, whatever. I'm just complaining because I can. That's all. So we're not going to do any more Erin Condren, even though I love the covers. And my sister-in-law just got one and she's like so excited. She can't wait to get it. She's been stocking everything, waiting. Oh, I want to do something at the bottom different. So let's do that first really quick. Mm, I just need it with one. I like putting these at the bottom now because I can easily just go right to where I need to go to see what I need to do that day. I really only put like the highlights, like the most important highlight things that I really want to make sure I get done in these little check boxes. Otherwise, they just have, I usually have like an icon for it. Oops, not that either. Man, I'm just going to mess this up all over the place. Let's do a to do. There. And we got it. And then this one here. There. Okay, that's better. That's fine now. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. So I like putting these at the bottom just for like the absolute gotta do these things this day. And then the rest of it, I just do like decorative planning and stuff. Just put things, whatever things I feel like putting in there for that day, I put them in there. So that's just the way it works out. I don't know if I want to go like this or I want to go back up like this. Let's do the V like this. We'll do the V. So I need one more of these. I will put at the bottom. And another to do. So I figured this is a good time to just kind of chat about the sale coming up this weekend just so that you have all the information. I did do a new releases video, so if you haven't seen it, I'll try to remember to link it at the bottom. Not the bottom, but the back of this video. I'll try to remember to link it there so that you can just go straight to it if you haven't seen it already. And it has all the sale information on it, but in case you don't want to go over there, I will have it here for you. So this week we work these two days. Let's put a box here. Oh, we got to have the piggies. The piggies and the waffles. So I guess I was supposed to do Powerpuff Girls first, but because we were releasing this one on the week of her birthday, we did the Invader Zim. But she's currently working on Powerpuff Girls. If that's something that you're waiting for and you're excited about, it is coming. She is working on it. Um, she has a little bit more time right now, so I'm trying to take advantage of it as much as possible. Um, yeah, because she doesn't always have time, but she started a new job. And she's basically like she's working at a kids, a place for kids where um, 
like autistic and stuff like that. Those kind of, that, that type of uh, scenario. And I'm going to put this one. No, we'll do it like this. Uh, and she's working at night. So they're all asleep, basically. She's just there in case anything happens and keep an eye on them and answer any questions that they have. And then she's got a list of chores and stuff that she has to do. But when she's done with everything and she's basically just there um, doing bed checks, she has a little bit of time in between and she'll pull out her iPad and try to draw a little bit here and there when she has time. So she is able to get a little bit more done than she ever was before. So we might actually be able to get a few more pieces of art out of my beautiful daughter than what we normally get. So I have the, a lot of stuff, I have a lot of stuff here. So I want to spread this out. Gosh, it's been a minute since I've used one of my own kits and I don't even know what I'm doing. All right, that's done, I'll get rid of that. So I wanna do meal, I wanna do meals here, I think. Do I wanna do meals? Um, yeah, I think I do. So we'll do it in this one. And I want to do some dividers. So let's do the purple dividers. I'll go as far as I can with these. That's very crooked. You're in Condren paper for the win. One of the things I love about it is the paper. Hate about it is the colors. Okay, there we go. And then we'll do a bright pink divider here. And I'm going to do our bill. Uh, wait, wait, this week we don't have any bills due, so we're not going to use the bill dues because we don't have any. Uh, we will do the tracker because I do the tracker. We have actually, I'm going to do the bigger trackers. So let's do the big trackers. Two of them. So if I go just trying to figure out my spacing so that I don't have like a big gap in there. Let's do this one. I think I got it. And then we'll do the other big tracker. I try to give you a lot of these choices for your like little tracker things so that you can pick different different styles for different things because this other one, this see it's much skinnier and smaller so if you have like a smaller spot where you want to add it in it's much smaller. Uh, and then the weekly spending, I think I'm going to put on Sunday. So we'll do it that way. And then this right here is one more divider and then we're done. We're done with the sidebar. So for birthday day, um, let me just back up a little bit and tell you what happened last week. So on last week on um, Friday night, I was working at the hospital like I always do. I feel like I'm there all the time. And I was doing something with the equipment and something kind of malfunctioned and popped off on me. And then I tried to grab it and I hurt my shoulder. So I'm um, see, I'm using it. It's working a lot better now. Everything is starting. So no, no fretting. Everything's working okay. But um, I have been like doing stuff, trying to make it better. Kind of like it's exercises, taking, taking medication, doing things to try to get it to work. The only thing I was worried about, I figured, you know, I've hurt myself before. It's not a big deal. It happens once in a while. But this time it didn't like, it, it was doing something a little bit, it was a little bit different. Cause it was like shooting pains and th things that I'm just not used to. So I decided I should probably do paperwork and actually be seen just in case I tore something because I've never, I've never had it where it, I couldn't make it stop hurting. And so I went to the urgent care on Saturday morning, which by the way, they're not very nice. I guess work injuries and going to see the doctor, they just think, everybody thinks you're a faker. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, whatever. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. They just aren't very nice. That's all I got to say about that. But they, um, did, you know, refer me to occupational therapy, which I haven't even been yet. I don't even think I need to go because it's feeling much, much better, obviously. Um, anyway, so that is the backstory. <laughs> so I was off for just a couple of days while I let it rest and um, didn't use it basically other than to kind of stretch it out a little bit. But that was pretty much it. Mm, I don't have this color, so we're just going to do something different. Uh, but Monday for my daughter's birthday... Oh, she, uh, we bought tickets to the water park, uh, last month for her birthday. So <laughs> that was on that day. So I was trying to figure out how in the heck I was going to do that. And 
so cute. I want this one right here. I'm gonna put um her the little birthday quote in there. So I wanna I wanna have the little birthday thing right there. Uh, so we went to the water park today. It was fine, but I was a little bit nervous because I have a two year old um, running around trying to rip my arms off <laughs> because she's so excited to be at the water park. She love 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 loves going. Uh, where do I want this one? I want it uh, Wednesday. I work work. Let's put it. Gosh, these damn things! I gotta cover them. I gotta do it. Can't can't handle it. Where's all my? Oh, here they are. Let's just do this. Uh, ooh, let's do a bright pink one on this one before we do this. Anyway, hot. Holy crap, is it hot right now? It is so hot. Like, and it was only these two days that it was going to be ridiculously hot like this. Monday, um, Monday and Tuesday were going to be stupid hot. And so I guess it's a good day to be at the water park, sort of. But it's also, you know, hot as heck and uh, very uncomfortable being there, so... Okay, let's put that one down. But anyway, she had a good time. She had fun. We went, took them to dinner, and then we went to the water park. Actually, I should say lunch, and then we went to the water park, and then the baby had an absolute blast. I've never seen her run around so much like a crazy chick ever, and uh, just loves the water. She is a water baby for sure. She love, love, loves the water. So no issues there. Um, one of the things that was a little bit irritating when we went through the line is we had brought her, we bought her a um, my fest and it's totally approved for babies. It's like one of the highest rated ones because she doesn't swim, like she doesn't live somewhere where she can swim uh, other than when we go to the water park and we knew we were going to take her in the lazy river. So we bought her one and the lady made us throw it in the trash. She said, that's not going to save your child's life. We're like, okay, well, either we're going to walk all the way back to the car, which was 5 billion miles away from where we were actually standing at the time to get into the park, or we just had to throw it in the trash. So we just threw it in the trash, whatever. I'll just have to buy her another one. Um, and then they said, there's plenty of free ones inside the park. So just use one of the free ones inside the park. That child, if we didn't have our hands on her with the ones, the free ones from the park, she would have drowned for sure. Those things are not going to save your child's life. I don't care what that lady says. That was not okay. Like the one we bought her, she would have been fine. And it had the little back support. It had all the things in it to keep her floating upright. Not that stupid one that we had to get the free one in the park. That is not. That was not okay. It was not good. So I was a little bit irritated about that because I had to throw. So just be aware. If you guys go to the water park, they're kind of they're kind of jerks about your uh, buying having nope 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 yep having your own flotation devices brought in with you so just keep that in mind uh anyway yeah but she did she had a great time she got so tired from running because she never stopped running that she fell asleep uh in my husband's arms at the end when we were trying to walk out she just like passed out she went totally limp and <laughs> she never does that either very, very rarely does that child sleep when you're carrying her. She wants to walk. She wants to explore. She's not the kind of kid that likes to be carried around. Um, as a matter of fact, it was one of the things that I was worried about with my shoulder because she will just like toss herself out of your arms because she does not want to be carried around. Um, I'm going to put one of these guys in there. There we go. That's perfect. This is looking so cute. I'm gonna put the little piggies and waffles up here. Their little color box. Gosh, this kit is so stinking bright. Sorry, I just pulled it right out of the camera. And then on this day, will that fit there? Yeah, it will. I wanna do a quote box. Like a sassy little quote box. This day I'm going to be busy. This is the sale days. So I don't need like a lot of space to write. I've got the important stuff down here. And there's a pay-per-view event um, that I am going to watch. Not that I want to watch, but I am going to watch. So I will probably, like for part of the day, I'll be doing that. And then for the rest of the day, it'll be just like updating sale stuff and just checking the website, making sure nobody doesn't question, stuff like that. But for the most part, um, we're going to be busy this whole weekend. So, I want to put the spending one here so I can round on 
around that. That's been a bit of a bit of a week. I bought the bags, the canvas bags for the uh, Sugar Gal Shop convention in November. I just ordered them, so they are custom custom bags. There's going to be, well, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. Well, I shouldn't jinx it. They're supposed to be adorable. Like I did the whole design and I did, it's um like called Leafy and it's basically Leafy and Friends. So it's the little, nope, too big. It's a little Leafy character and she is surrounded by um a lot of the shops. Nope, it's still too big. A lot of the shops that, I'm just going to do it anyway, because I need to put something in there that contributed to the table. So like they sent me stuff that's going to go at our table. And so I wanted to do like a special bag to put their stuff in. So I designed that and sent off for it. So then there's that. That was a little bit expensive, a little bit, but we're totally worth it. I want to make sure that anybody that sits at my table is happy. Like that they like all the stuff that they get that I'm like giving them a good, a good amount of things. I have contacted a lot of shops that I love and they have agreed to send stuff. So I think anybody who sits at my table, I really would love to know if I did a good job because I'm trying. <laughs> like, I I think, um, I think I've, I don't know. I think I got so much stuff. I may, I may have overdone it a little bit, but I'd rather overdo it than under, you know? So people are just like, I don't know. I feel like if you spend that much money on a ticket to a convention, it, it should be well, well worth the money that you spent. And even though, you know, we don't make any money off of this, we actually, it costs, obviously costs us money to do this because it's not like we get like a discount or anything. We just send stuff and it's all promotional. So it's all stuff that you can, well, this would be a good spot. No, I got, I need that. I need those spaces. So we can't do anything with those. This one, we're going to put a divider. Let's put one of the dark ones. Ooh, how about this one? Do a dark one to bring some of this darkness around. Um, I do need some something else here. The stupid work days I have like because I don't I don't know if I'm even going to work this day. I'm assuming that I'm going to work this day, uh, but I still have to call. What do I want? Oh, let's do one of these. I still have to call the occupational therapy people and set up an appointment. So I don't know. I don't know when that's going to be. So I just need to leave myself some places to write. I'm just going to tell them I'm fine. I feel fine. Everything's fine. Let me just go back to work. I'm good. False alarm. Everything's fixed. And then hopefully they'll just leave me alone. But with my luck, that won't happen. And I'll end up there for like the next six months having to spend all of my days off uh, at occupational therapy. So yeah. That's what I'm expecting. I have a ton of boxes. I just I always I always have a ton of boxes. And I don't know what I want here. Oh, I know what I need though. I need one of these. So this will be okay. Because I need this for. And then I just can do a smaller piggies. Okay, let's do piggy. There's a lot of pink and pink on pink, but it's okay. I don't mind. There. Okay, there they are. How's that look? I think it looks so cute, it's so cute, but we have some of this. So this one, I wanna put my little girl, I'm gonna put girl right there. Obviously my favorite character. I think she, I think girl's, girl is pretty much everybody's favorite character. His piggies and waffles. I'm just gonna put a couple of these because I still need to put my leafies on here so I don't wanna like take up a ton of space. So I'm just gonna put a couple of them. I don't know where I want him, look at his little, <laughs> he funny. <laughs> his little his little air coming out of his butt. I don't know where I want him though. I, think I want him right here. I can put it like this. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so got tons of stuff to put in my journal. So I'll put that off to the side. And then um I have these. Oh, that's the well, this probably so these are new. So there's a 1.5, so these would fit in your big 1.5 boxes um, or the 1.3s. So I'm going to grab, and they also come in the white or the clear. So I think because I want to be able to see the background on, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it here. I want to be able to see the background. I'm just going to grab 
this one on the clear mat instead of using the white. But if you have like a super dark box and you want to use these in like a super dark like this or something, then you might want to use the ones with the white background so that it pops off the page better. But where you want to see the background, there it is. That's the 1.5. So I'm put that there and then I'm also going to grab, so this is the freebie for the um, sale. This is the everybody freebie for when you go shop. And so isn't this right here. So I have, I'm just actually going to leave that. I also have the sheet. So you can see here I've used a bunch of them. So I'm going to put this here for her birthday. And... I don't know if you can hear the dog, but she's chewing on my carpet. What are you doing? No, not that. What are you doing? No, uh-uh. Where's your phone? Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. She's like whipping the carpet right now. She's got her little teeth stuck in there. Stop. Where'd you put the bone? Hello? She's just looking at me. Like, what? What am I doing? Don't. No. No. Stop it. Oh my gosh, if she doesn't stop, I'm gonna have to stop this video and do something with her. She's misbehaving. Okay, I'm gonna put this one right here. Here, eat that. Eat your, she's teething. <sighs> she's seven months old. Seven months old on the 23rd. So she's almost there. Okay, so there's the birthday one there. And then we're also gonna put a birthday one um, over here for the for the sale. Um, I think I'll put it on Sunday, right here, on Sunday. I'm gonna put the little birthday cake there. So, officially three years we've been open. And I think the shop has uh, grown a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot of things have changed. A lot of things have changed. Okay. Um, Oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute. Okay, let's do, this is gonna be a long video. I'm just gonna do it. I've been doing a lot of voiceovers lately because of uh, just not being able to, you know, make noise basically. So, sorry, I'm just flipping, I'm flipping through my, my things. Here we go. So I want that. I want I want all the things. I'm just gonna start pulling them all out right now and I'll probably just cut the video for a minute. Okay, so I pulled out all the ones that I want to use. And I had this box here specifically because I wanted to use these. So this is the Life Happens 2 in the 1.5. And I thought that would be a good place because it's Sunday to put this guy at the top. And then I'm gonna put my tracker at the bottom so I'll put a 1.5 tracker right here if I can if I have one hopefully I have one and that way I do here's the 1.5 there's 1.3 also for the cousin but I wanted to put my little mood tracker on there and then I can write right underneath it what the week was like so I thought that'd be a cute place for that and then so we can put that off to the side because we're done with that and then um, I have these guys. So I use these trackers for uh, my Instagram posts because I have uh, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm doing better. I am. And also for medication. So when I get to the medication one, I'll do that there. And then we've got the sale one. We're just going to go here. Put that away. Game night on Tuesday. We're doing that on Tuesday, tomorrow. You'll put it at the bottom, even though it's not like super important, but I have I have a leafy for that, so I want to use it. Meal prep goes over this one right here. Meal prep. I wish I had a printer that printed white for like the darker stuff, but I do not. And the printers that print white on this type of paper, oh my god. <laughs> I can just tell you, oh my god. That is not I forgot to make the medication leafy. I meant to but I forgot. <sighs> I got a little, little hectic this week with uh, it, the whole shoulder thing, like totally threw me off. It totally threw off my groove and getting stuff done that I had planned to get done. I don't know how these doctors think that like people do that on purpose. I just, this, I just don't have time for that. <laughs> so doing it on purpose would be ridiculous for me. 
Um, here's my little phone calls. So I'm gonna call, I'll put it right here in the white. A phone call there. I didn't put one of the right sized ones on here for my phone call, so I'll just stick it, I'll put it up here. Put my phone call there. And then trash day is on Sunday, which we do have an icon for that, but we're probably not gonna use it. We'll see, we'll see if I can fit it in these little spots. And then my laundry, important. We'll do laundry here. Okay, and then we can get our leafies out. Yeah. Okay, so phone calls. <laughs> She's so cute. I don't know why, but I'm just like totally... I put it over here, and then I put who I talk to next to it. So it's call Scotty, call mom kind of stuff. And then we've got our laundry leafy right here. I keep poking this with my tweezers because they're so sharp. So now I'm trying something different, like peeling it up a little bit sideways. Oh, wait, on Friday, mm, I need to put this somewhere because it's important. I'm going to get the little car one. I'm going to stick it right here next to Gurr. Um, because I'm picking up a car and taking it to the mechanic this day. Uh, yeah. For one of my kids. So we're buying a trying to buy a car for one of our kids that needs it for work. Uh, just to kind of help out. And I'm picking it up this day and taking it to the mechanic to make sure it's safe. And if there's anything that needs to be fixed, it'll get fixed that day. So that is happening that day. Um, it's a good thing I have all these appointment leafies. So when I get my appointments, I can put them in here, but I don't have it yet. So I'm not going to put those. And then we've got game night, which I have. There's some new leafies too, but they're fall. And I'll show them to you in here, but they're not going to go obviously in this one because we don't, we're not doing fall yet. It's almost, almost. I'm stocked. I'm stocked up and ready. Where's game night? Uh, I don't know. I might be out of game night. I'm probably going to have to pull some out. Yes, I'm going to have to go back and pull some. Oh, no, they're right there. There you are. I should probably put these in some semblance of order so that I can find them easier, but I just toss them everywhere because why not? So there's game night. And then Instagram. A little Instagram leafy right here. And what else have I got on here? Laundry, game night. Payday, car, birthday, I think that's all. Oh, trash day and sale. I do have a new one. Let's see where it is. I don't know if I put it in here yet. I should have. I made, oh, I didn't put it in here. Hang on, I gotta get it out. It's probably, is it in here? No, hold on one second. Okay, I don't know what I did with it. I don't see it on here, but I could have sworn that I had one and I picked them off. Because I got the new Bill Duke ones on here, but this isn't here. So I don't know if maybe I just didn't put it on here. Oh, duh, they're right there. Oh my gosh. I just went and grabbed a whole new one because I thought maybe I like lost my little mind for a second. But there it is. So sale day right there. And then the last one is a trash day which we'll put that yeah it works it's good and then i'll probably write right there with the white pen the white gel pen okay so there it is it's ready to go for the week it's monday right now so i will fill this in um back plan this one and then i've got the rest of the week to plan ahead so i hope you guys like this this is the new doom 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 and waffles kit totally hand-drawn kit by my wonderful daughter whose birthday was on monday shop sale on saturday and sunday 35 percent off biggest um discount we'll do all year is the birthday sale so 35 percent off everything in the shop go check out the new releases if you want to see all the goodies um these are the free with every order so every order gets the vinyl and one of these and there's a bunch of new stuff out there. So anyway, I hope you guys like this. Otherwise, have a fantastic day and I will see you on the next one. Bye.